This is my first trip to Varanasi and I've attended Inner Awakening uh, before this but experiencing Swamiji in Varanasi at Inner Awakening is a completely different experience. There have been several highlights to the program so far. It's our 17th day and uh, some of them, the most important one is of course the third eye initiation which was pretty amazing. We've been having initiations almost every day and we've all been practicing blindfold reading and I've noticed that my intuition has gone up very high um, and I've been able to I, you know, perceive words written on paper uh, completely blindfolded and this has been a totally do, a new experience for me. Um, and the kids are all uh, reading blindfolded. My son can see words appearing in silver um, in a black background and he's been able to read sentences quite, you know, quite well. And that has been quite a big surprise for me. The other highlights of the program have been uh, the Meenakshi Tirukalyanam. So my husband and I, we got remarried in Varanasi in the presence of Swamiji in, uh, during Meenakshi Tirukalyanam. And that was really amazing. And um, we are very excited to start a new life together with complete completion with each other. And uh, we've had several homas so far in this program. Um, one was the Dakshinamurti Homa. Uh, the temple visit, we went to the Kalabhairava temple. We also went to the Kashi, uh, Kashi Vishwanath temple uh, yesterday early morning at 1.30. And that was quite an amazing experience. Uh, we actually got to see the, uh, the, the Linga and we also saw Swamiji performing uh, Rudrabhishekam to the Lingam in the temple. And that was really uh, amazing. I would, re I would totally say this is a true blessing for me in my life. Um, and uh, I'm really happy that um, my mind or nothing else stopped and I was really called here. Um, I would really be, I'm really happy for that and uh, experiencing a lot and learning a lot and uh, before coming here um, I had a gist of completions process and uh, how, how it works and how it helps everybody but coming here uh, shows me more insight into myself and how, uh, how I can work through my daily uh, or like my life itself. So it has really been uh, a blessing, that's what I would totally say um, and it gave me a great understanding. Yes, and uh, every moment here which we are spending, it's, uh, it's a true blessing. I am not sure what, um, I mean like what we, um, it's like you know, we, di we didn't do anything but we got the result, that's how I feel. I feel that uh, I'm, I'm so blessed to be here. Uh, I'm getting the fruits of so much, fruits so much from uh, Swamiji and the ambience here and all the gods here, blessing and everything. Uh, Shri Vidya initiation was uh, the uh, most um, surprising and like wonderful experience I had um, and uh, I'm cherishing uh, um, all the time here and I would, um, 
I would, I'm still planning to, you know, a few more days to go, but I'm uh, absolutely um, wishing that I would be 100% participating and um, uh, enjoying. I just passed out from college a uh, few days back and uh, I was just clueless of what to do in my life. And then suddenly I had this intention of attending Inner Awakening and suddenly it all came into place and uh, I just landed up here. And, uh, and I'm sure, pretty much sure coming to IA is the best decision I've, I've ever made in my life. And uh, we all went through a lot of completion process, Shivoham process, homas and many other stuffs and we went to site visits, I mean to temples and we really had a great time here. And the completion process which we underwent put me in a complete peace. I was, I didn't, I never had such a kind of peace in my life. And uh, the upsurge of Kundalini during the Shivoham process put us all into the ultimate ecstasy of life, the Shiva Bhota. How to become like Nachiketa? What I feel is just continuously standing up for the truth instead of just getting diluted with other things around you. So like not having any vested interest but just only seeking for the truth. Nothing else other than that. See, when you are strong inside, nothing outside can affect. Like as, like as what Swamiji said, in a, we had innocence but then not the ferociousness. So with the ferociousness, innocence with ferociousness when it clubs, really the seeking will happen. Where you will be standing up again and again in each and every situation instead of just getting diluted. So only when you stand up again and again, whatever happens around you, just with the innocence and the truth, you will become like Nachiketa. You should align all the context and everything to the space of authenticity. Anything happen around you and inside you, you are only responsible. If sometimes you might think that uh, if I tell that person something uh, that he is inauthentic, that person will think wrong about you. So you will keep on seeking for the attention. So when you drop that pattern of attention in it, by just holding on to the authenticity, whenever that thought comes, just dropping it and holding on to the authenticity will just restore your space and le lead you to become like Nichiketa. Like in, even in the case of Nichiketa, because he, he knew the truth was to keep his father authentic, even though his father cursed him, go to Yama, he just because he was standing with the authenticity and not for his for any attention need or to prove that he is great, he he had that uh, love towards his father, the uncompromised love, uncompromised love to his father. That is why when he even went to Yama, the first boon he asked is just for his father. So in this, if you can see that Nachiketa was standing up for the truth and not fallen in any point, even though his father was his father was against of him. Shiva 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 Welcome home to experience love current of Mahadeva. This city is just DNA of physical expression of Hinduism. From your side, nothing needs to be done other than being here. Simple truth straight away.